here have two M18 5 ampere lithium ion batteries. These ones aren't feeling too well. That one's one flashing light, that one is nothing. They won't power a drill. No. And they won't charge. So this one. I've replaced two cells and brought up the voltage to workable voltage. It still won't go, still won't charge, still won't power at all. So what I'm going to do is put a brand new generic circuit board that I got from eBay um, into this one. I have another one for this one, but that's for later. So I've zipped out the four T10 torque screws that hold it together. And you can just sort of get the top off handy enough like that because I know this is good a workable voltage I don't have to go any further I don't have to go near the cells that's as far as I need to strip it down to replace the circuit board the next thing we need to do there's two screws here and they're T7 security torques they're actually T8 but the T7 took them out they got away with it I think the next thing I think you should do is desolder these joints, see where I've marked them in black there's four joints to desolder and also we need to pop these off with a wee sharp screwdriver so first of all um, I think I'll pop these off with a wee sharp screwdriver these spot welds and then I can re-spot weld that when I'm putting on the new board what you want to do is drain underneath that pop that off and there's another one over here pop that off as well like that that's popped off now that's the two of them disconnected so now for the desoldering part just warm up the iron for a wee minute here now there was one thing i hit more in soldering it's actually desoldering so but i'm getting there Finally that's the old board off, you don't have to worry about doing a rough desoldering job, just as long as you get the board off, that's it then. Now it's time to place the new board on, and this is the way it goes. You line it up with all the little spots that it has to go into. I got them more or less lined up, but this actual nickel strip was broke off, so I'm going to have to branch a bit in. But I'll do that now, and then I'll solder the rest. Sort of the lower four and get it spot welded down. Right, that's the four joints soldered now. I'm gonna have to spot weld this on. I'm gonna have to spot weld connect that and spot weld connect that. First of all, I'll probably screw the circuit board into place. What's your own one? Don't want to do that. Right, time for a little bit of my favourite now, spot welding. Right, with all the spot welding done, I just throw the lid back on and try it in the charger. Right, with that back together, it's been up three bars, you can hardly see it. It must be a generic circuit board. It's dumber and hot. Right, I must charge it. I'll try it in the charger to see if it works. So it appears to be charging. We will leave it for a while. It's showing four bars. It's on the charger. So I might just actually try it into two instead. That's pretty good. So that's how you replace the circuit board and a 5.0 M18 
red lithium ion battery. If you like this content, please subscribe to my channel for more.